It's the game of celebrity gossip, Paddle Tail. And now here's the star of Paddle Tales, Bert Bradley. Hello there, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you and welcome to Tattle Tales. And a nice group of smiling faces. I love it you're all smiling now because nobody's lost yet. Um, nobody's going to lose today. You're all going to win some money, and these are the people who are going to win it for you right now. For the blue section from Alice, Mr. Vic Tabak and Sheila Tabak. <laughs> Winning money for the banana section from Family Ties, Michael Fox, and from the Facts of Life, Nancy McKeon. Winning money for the red section today, Mr. Shaki Green and Marie Musso. Two veteran couples and one rookie couple. My so, God, you look good, Bert. What do you, you do? Thank you, sir. Thank you. I stay up late, uh, drink a lot, and uh, fool around. That's the only answer. Yeah. 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 Got somebody I can fool around with, too? <laughs> I don't want to stay up late, though. <laughs> How do you feel, Shaq? You said you were a little under the weather. I got a yeah, a little bit of that uh, flu. I came back from the east, and I got a little of uh, Yeah? Yeah. They, they leave the air conditioning on in the airplanes. You know? yeah, they, they do do that, yes. Yeah, so. Or if you open a window, it could be rough, too. Probably. I'm going to try that the next time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vic, you're all tan. You, you've been away. You've been resting. You've... No, that's not true. I've been cutting the lawn. That's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, no. Cutting the lawn, Nobody's eh? Nobody's got to cut it. Sheila sure. won't do it. Sure, <laughs> I don't believe it for a minute. Uh, Nancy and Michael, uh, we welcome you. You just watch how these guys do this. They're so good at this game. Intimidating guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Two intimidating guys. Watch this. They'll get everything right. You'll, you'll see. Ladies, here's the first question. It's for you. Worth 150 bucks to your rooting section. A close single girlfriend is pregnant. She is afraid to tell the father of the child for fear he'll be very, for fear, I can't even say it, it makes me so nervous, for fear he'll be very angry. She asks you to go to him and tell him the situation. Would you do it, yes or no? A close single girlfriend is a little bit pregnant. Goodbye. Um, Vic, what do you think? What would Sheila do? Would she honor her girlfriend's request? Yes or no? Well, I, I'd be surprised at that that she wouldn't be the one uh, to go there and, and talk and, and tell him what the situation is. But if she wanted me to do it, and that's the situation. No, not you. No, no. What? Say that again. No. She's asking uh, your wife to go to her girl, f to, the, to the guy. <laughs> oh. It's your girlfriend. It's oh, your yeah, wife she'll as a go. single girlfriend. Oh, yeah, then I thought, yeah, okay, sure, she'll go. Sheila would go and tell sure him? Sure, she would. She wouldn't be afraid at all. May she might be afraid, but she'd go. She would, huh? Yeah. Anybody come to mind that this could be going on with? Uh, <laughs> Thank you, uh, Vic. Uh, Let Sheila answer that. <laughs> here comes Sheila now. <laughs> Sheila, tell us, what would you do in this situation? Oh, boy. Uh, it may be a girl, too. <laughs> it could be. I, oh, I, you always hit me with these tough ones that I don't think Vic would answer the way, I don't know. But you remember, I'm asking you. So I know. You answer the way you really feel about it. That's the best thing to do. Well, I sometimes. <laughs> yes, I probably would do it. That's what the man said. <laughs> it's so easy for you, and no doubt in my mind. I have it's, a big mouth. It is a problem, though, isn't it? I mean, I would think it would be terrifying to go and say, "Hey, listen, uh, you know Sheila? Uh, I mean, not Sheila. Excuse me. Surely." Oh yeah, I was going to say, don't say me. Yeah, right. No, but it would be easier for me if he was going to be that angry. It probably would be easier for me to do it than it would be for her. Because yeah. he's, what's he going to get mad at me about? That's right. You didn't have anything to do and with that's it. That's right. That's what Did I you? tell him. Yeah. Tell no. Him. Uh, Michael, what will Nancy do? I don't know. Na Nancy's Nancy puts on this tough that she's real tough, but I think she's very afraid of confrontations. So. Uh, I, I think she'd try and comfort her girlfriend, but I don't think she would volunteer to be the one or say yeah. she would. It's called stay out of uh, it's domestic stay situations, out. Yeah. huh? Because sometimes uh, you can get in bigger trouble than the other two people, as a matter of fact. <laughs> she, he could very well take it out on her. Here she comes. Nancy, your single girlfriend is a little bit with child. What are you going to do? You're going to tell the guy or not? Well, uh, I'll tell you, I don't, on our set and like off our set, people for some reason just 
have the need to come up and tell me their problems. I don't know why. I just look like a shrink. Um, I think yes, I would do it. Uh, no, Michael said no. He didn't I said think you're it. a chicken, Nance. You're a chicken. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now you know. See, and now look at you've learned something about each other already. Oh yeah. Isn't you're that a fascinating? Chicken, huh? <laughs> Banana section saying, "Oh yeah, gee, it's this really fascinating, Bert." <laughs> We're thrilled to death with that. Uh, Shecky, what will Marie say? Well, I know Marie's uh, got good common sense and everything else, and she can handle people. You know, if she can handle me, she can handle anybody. <laughs> and uh, Marie would definitely uh, go and tell the father. She for would? The, yes. For the girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, she'd do anything for a girlfriend. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, okay, I got a couple of requests. Uh, <laughs> things I'd like her to handle for me. Here she comes now. Marie, what will you do? Uh, well, first I'd like to say, thank God, all my girlfriends are too old to get pregnant, so I wouldn't <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> um, uh, if he's going to get angry, he's going to get angry, and so what? Uh, yeah, I would do it. That's right, that's what the man said. <laughs> Shecky and Marie and Sheila and Vic are right, split it in the half. Nancy and Michael, the rookies, will come along. Don't worry about it. We'll see you in a minute. Don't give her the bad news and come back. We'll be here. What? Oh, wait, we, we, we'll get... We'll get the Hadassah is here as well. UCLA is here. We'll get to you the next time, find out who you are. Okay, we're coming up with question number two, and we'll be with you in just a minute. What I'm doing is asking the people to have one person in their group stand up and tell us what group they are, because most people who come to Tattletales represent a group, and they're here to win money for their ver various charities, and that's a great way to do it. So come down and do that. First of all, I second of all. Hmm? got out of bed just for the red. I got out of bed just for the red. Just what for I got. the red. Ladies, this question's for you. At carnivals, they have people who try to guess your weight or your age. Which do you think would be easier for someone to guess correctly? Oh, <laughs> Your weight or your age. Goodbye. Oh. oh, boy, am I glad I don't have to answer this one. Um, well, Michael, this won't be any trouble for you. What about Nancy? I think, actually, this one's a piece of cake. I Is think. it? I think she will say, no doubt, no doubt. Her, her age. Her age would be easier to guess? Would be difficult to guess. Would Is that what the question is? Okay. No, which, which would, would be, be easier? easier? Her weight. Her weight would be easier than her yeah. age. It's deceptive. We don't ask her age, of course, but right, right. it's deceiving. She is not. I don't think you'd get an answer on either, but. I don't think we would either, but it, you'll say easier to guess her easier weight. To, easier to guess her How weight. How much does she weigh? I'm not touching that. No way. <laughs> you guess. You go. Okay, because she has, she has no weight problem. I no, mean, no. But, but it's just... say, people are sensitive. I'm, I'm not going to touch Yeah, them. okay. I guess. I, okay. Here she comes. We'll see. Nancy, which would be easier, do you think, for someone to guess at the carnival? Does having them play Mission Impossible in these things have any relation to the question? Yeah, I don't think so. You got the music on your earphones? <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you, I don't look the age that I am. Mm -hmm. And many people say that. So I would probably, I'm going to say my weight. That's right. That's what he said. Gave you the death, didn't he? Huh? Didn't Good see. deal. You didn't think you had that one, did you, Bananas? Thought you were in trouble. Shecky, what would Marie say? Well, I don't care what people think about her age, you know, truthfully. Because to me, she's, she's young and she'll always be young. Uh, I think that uh, so many people, would, we're always talking about going on diets and things, and so many people always say, you don't need it. So it'll be about the, uh, about the weight. You think so? Because is she sensitive about that? I guess we all are a little bit, aren't we? She's kind of sensitive. Yeah. She's, uh, but uh, she's got uh, two handles, very nice handles. That, uh, yeah, I understand. We'll just... We'll just We'll discuss that later on. Yes, I, I understand. I know what you mean exactly. Is that funny? Yes. I wonder why I understand that. You, she's going to say, easier to guess her weight. No, 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 no. no. You're say someone. It would be. Which would you think would be easier for someone to guess correctly? She, now you got me really in a quandary here. Her, okay. her weight or her age? Uh, it's not going to be easy to guess her weight. So I will say that will easier to guess her. Uh, <laughs> Red, what do you want to say, Red? Women out there, what do you want to do? Wait. Oh, okay. they're all saying wait. They, they say wait. I, I really would go with the other thing, but let's go with the wait. All right. They, they seem to want, they seem to want to, the man can't say the word. No, Did you I, notice? I've got to change my mind. I've got to go with the age. You've got to go with the age. Yes. All right. He's, he knows her better than you do. I know it's hard for you to believe that, but here she comes. Marie, which would be easier? Ah, uh, they're both hard, so let me think. Um, I'm tall, so I can hide weight a little better, but um, the wrinkles are coming. Uh, 
I'm going to have to guess and say my weight. No, he said age. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You had it right down pat, too. You had, a, you, you had the right answer. You're going up down the right stream. The red section said uh, uh, weight, uh, and he changed it. Yes, but I was in a quandary there. Yeah, he yeah. was in a quandary. I'm going to move to a quarry next. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's in big trouble. Uh, what will uh, Sheila say, Vic? So many times, uh, you know, there was a certain situa situation many years ago where we had just moved into a new house, and I was out just fooling around on the lawn, and uh, my neighbor came by and said, oh, I just met your daughter, what a lovely girl. I said, no, what daughter? I don't have a daughter. She says, no, the, the guy with the black hair and the blue eyes. I said, no, that's my wife. She goes, oh, my, she's so young. Oh. You know? so, I, so nobody ever knows her age, you know? Uh, nobody ever guesses that she's, uh, she's a, her age. <laughs> Folks, oh. let me tell you, well, we came finished. that close. <laughs> this close we came. So I think it would be easier for somebody to get guess her weight. Her weight. Carnival. Yes, very nicely I done, sir. He you spends did. a lot of time in the garden. Uh, he does. Like, He's on the lawn cutting, the cutting the lawn. Paradise. You, no, you want to come over and do my house? <laughs> <laughs> Here she comes. Sheila, which would it be easier for someone to guess? Well, from the length of the answer, I have no idea what Vic would say. <laughs> uh, I figure you can always cover up, you can always throw stuff on your face and wear turtlenecks to hide, you know, the <laughs> creepy neck. But you can only wear a sack dress so long. It would be easier for them to judge my weight. That's what the man said. You got it. Nancy and Michael, Sheila and Vicar Wright split it in half. Halftime, guys. Step into the rear. We bring the ladies out front. We'll continue with the weight and the age of all of us. That's it. Getting older every second. Happy birthday. Hello. Uh, I'm getting a lot of stuff here. I'm having a wonderful time. I have a talking box that says, I forget what it says. What does it say? Yo te amo. Yes, thank you very much. You and I have a talking panda. No, this doesn't talk. You're From Mission Viejo, the winning. Sweet Adelines. That's nice. That's the, the wonderful singer, barbershop singer. He's great. Okay, here we go. It's not for you, that's for me. Don't touch my little baby. Okay, now, here we go. This is for the guys. Welcome, ladies. Um, man, which would make you crankier? Not enough sleep, not enough food, or not enough sex? <laughs> Goodbye. Because <laughs> they could all make you a little cranky, couldn't they? Uh, we'll start with you, Marie. What do you think Shecky will say? Ask, from the men's point of view, by the way. Oh, from the men's point of view. Yeah. Towards me? You mean if I No, not necessarily. Enough? No. I mean, you can take it personally, but I'm really asking him what How would make would him be, crankier. It, what would make him crankier? Yeah. Okay, well, he gets enough food and gets enough sex. Uh, it'd have to be... Uh, <laughs> it would have to be the sleep. But not enough sleep makes yeah. him cranky. Is yeah. he, does he need a lot of sleep? As opposed to... Um... <laughs> Uh, he takes a lot of everything. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. Okay, you're yeah, going to say sleep. Uh, sleep it I, is. I'm going to go for sleep. Here he comes. <laughs> hey, Shaq, what do you uh -huh. think? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Did that bell wake you up there? <laughs> what do you think? What makes you crankier? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm on a diet, and it doesn't bother me to be on a diet, uh, so that wouldn't be the food. And my sex life is wonderful. And uh, don't tell Marie about it, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I have no complaints there. I think the thing that make me crankiest would be the sleep. That's the one. You got it. He's hot today. I don't remember him being this hot last time he was here. He's learned. Okay. Sheila, what will Vic say? Oh, well, believe me, it's a toss-up between the sleep and the food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm not telling you anymore. I understand. Uh, let's see. Uh, we forgot to put lawn in here, too. He's, he does not cut the lawn. He doesn't? That, that, no. was, that was a fib, was it? That was a fib. I understand. He does, ex he extends the truth. I see. I think he walked across it and looked at it. Yeah, walk, <laughs> he walked on it once. Um, let me see. Um, now, I don't know. if I have seen Vic go, you know, when he has to go a long time, you know, like, well, like in Vegas and that, he can step all night and all day. And all sure. Night, and he's never cranky at all. Right. Right? He's unconscious, but he did he's not He's unconscious, but he's not cranky. <laughs> now, yesterday, I saw him open the refrigerator and say, when are you going to the store? Right. He was very testy. Very cranky. I'd say food. Does he eat junk food? 
Well, not really junk junk. He eats a little junk food, but he likes like cheese and tomatoes and yeah. leftover chicken, cold chicken. He can eat that forever. Yeah. You know? Well, everybody can eat that. You know? That's so he, got, he was a little bit <laughs> testy. There was nothing in the refrigerator. Yeah. So I think it would be food. Not, Although he can, in Vegas, he can go without food, too. Goes without food in he Vegas, too. He can go without too. sleep, eat everything to stay. There's only one left. <laughs> yeah. How come you keep beating around the bush here, Sheila? Let's get on with it. It's a silly question, that's why. No, I'm going to stick not. with food. You're I'm going to stick, stick with, with food. food. All right, here he comes. <laughs> Vic, we need to know, what makes you crank here? I would think that Sheila would know this. Uh, you know, there's certain things... I can't, I can't tick unless, um, unless I've had a, a, enough sleep. Uh, so I, I, you know, I can, all I need is about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I'm up, I'm ready for food, I'm ready for sex, I'm ready for anything, but if, unless I need that, I need that 20 minutes, I need to sleep. No, she said food. She picked food, I'm sorry. Is that wrong, Vic? I'm on a diet. Ah. Oh. Well, maybe that's why he's cranky then. It. Being on a day can make it uh, be a uh, dank. Being she, on a diet can make it, it very. She blew it. She mm, blew it. She blew it. Later, she blew it. Not. Yes. Don't fight, kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll come back to you later. Uh, Nancy, what will Michael say? Ah, uh, okay. Um, my mother's in the audience. I can't. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. I mean, what the heck? She's at home. <laughs> okay. One is definitely because he he hardly ever eats. He used to be really fat. And now he's he's. He did. Down. He, yeah, he used to be like a little butterball. No so kidding. He can go for days without eating. I mean, he, like, he doesn't, right. food doesn't matter. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Would uh, you like to go for right, number gonna, three? <laughs> no, I'm... I... <laughs> <laughs> all right, the risk of sounding redundant. I'm going to say sleep because I, I do believe... I do believe... Yes, seriously, honestly, trust me, I know, I know this one. Okay. I know him. I, trust yeah, me. look at all I, the guys from UCLA okay. going, sure, sure. Okay, here he comes. <laughs> Michael, you must choose one. What, which one makes you crank here? Well, uh, Nance and I, <clears throat> excuse me, we worked together this summer on a film, and uh, I didn't get enough food, and I didn't get enough sleep, and uh, uh, it was quite an epic, actually. And uh, I will say it will be not enough food. Uh, no. Uh, which one? Not enough food? Are they two? Are they three separate things? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's say not enough food. That's not what I she lost. said. You're oh, wrong again. Right? She said sleep. Michael, you never eat. I know, that's true. And well, I don't then sleep either. What are you saying food for? No, I was thinking of them both. See, this is my inexperience. You gotta excuse us. <laughs> Kids, we don't know. Terribly sorry. Oh, yeah. The bananas have to excuse you, but the red section is thrilled okay. to death with Marie and Shecky because they get the whole thing. And we'll come back in just a moment. With the next question, we're at 300 bucks and that will decide it. Hello. We're back. Uh, this question was $300. This will do it, guys. Listen carefully. Uh, men, do you think you're a difficult person to understand or an easy person to understand? What do you think? Off you go. This is interesting because it's from his point of view. It may be totally wrong, but we'll go with what he thinks about himself. What do you think, Nancy? What will Michael say? Okay. Um... All right, he, he's very honest. He'll tell you exactly, most of the time, what he's thinking. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to go with easy. Okay, I'm go easy he's an open first. book. He's, there's yeah. nothing, he's, he's he open about what he's yeah. thinking and what's going on inside. Here he comes. Michael, difficult or easy for you to be understood? Now I'm in a quandary. Actually, I came by to visit Shecky in the quandary. But uh, uh, do you mean, I don't know if you mean articulate or, or feelings, but I'm going to say I'm an easy person. That's what she said. No, we didn't. Uh, I don't think we mean in, in when you speak to someone, are you easily understood? I think we meant just what you thought it was. You're right. Uh, we'll go to I'm you, Sheila. What will Vic say? Oh, okay. I know what Vic will say. He's well, wrong. He's wrong. He's, <laughs> yes, his thinking is very convoluted for me to figure out. Right. But he always says to me, Sheila, I'm an open book. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. So if he's going to say he's easy. That's what he say. thinks, but it's not so. It's not so. Very difficult. Right. Very I have no idea how he gets from A to B, but he does. But he gets there anyway. That's right. That's what counts. Here he comes. Vic, we're getting down to it now. It's getting kind of tense and close here. Do you think you're difficult or an easy person to understand? Yeah, well, I hope Sheila remembers that it's me that's doing the answering. That's right. <laughs> so I hope she, uh, she realized that I've always dealt with logic 
uh, to the umpteenth degree, so I think I'm an easy person. That's right, that's what you said. All right, this is it. Marie, this will decide the game for the week. What will Shecky say? Gosh, um, now, don't ooh and awe, because I think he's easy. Um, I think, I th he's very logical, and he's really, he's very sensitive. Oh okay. my God, I can go on with this. I'm gonna say easy. Easy, here yeah. he comes. Shecky, this will decide what, the game. What? This is it. What do you think? No, they gave me a sign that says fast answer. So, uh, I think personally, I, I, am an, uh, I know what I am and I, the way I feel about myself. But uh, Marie sees what happens around me and everything else. And I think that Marie will pos possibly say, with my fingers crossed, a difficult person to understand. No, she said you were easy. Nancy Michael Sheelan, Victor Wright, split the three hundred and a half. Time is up. And the blue section wins it. I will come back in a minute. Surprise, last minute finish. See the second. Okay. They came from behind. What a finish. The blue section was Sheila and Vic, 300 bucks. We had 1,000. They will divide $1,300 in the blue section. Thank you all. It was a very close game. We'll see you next time right here on Tattersdale. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. In addition to the cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section selected at random will also receive. Control odors all over your home with Renews It Adjustable and Renews It Aerosol. Your best value in air freshening, Renews It Do's It. And Vet Camp products to flea control on your pet and in his home. Exclusively, it's your veterinarian from Vet Camp. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Tattletales, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.